Hello, everybody. Naira Mali is not banned from performing in Cameroon because he is Naira Mali or because he is a foreign artist from Nigeria. No. Naira Mali is banned from performing in Cameroon because he is a bad influence to modern youths. The level in which Naira Mali promotes youths to consume drugs and immorality is too high. Stop pouring out false news and fake news. Because I know some of you are out there like a monitor spirit. You only react when there is a negative happening. Now most of you will be sympathizing. Oh, you want to show love. Oh, those event organizers. Listen to me. If those event organizers have to lose, let them lose even one billion times. Yes, because you are so selfish and greedy in such a way that you care only about the money that gets to go to your pocket. You don't care about the youth who are affected in what you practice online. You don't care about the parents who are bleeding in what you practice online. With the fact that Cameroon, some of you who are saying, oh, what about Cameroon artists? Is it today they, they start smoking drugs? Because the Cameroon government is not aware of that. And trust me, this message is going to you. Malox, Jovi, Mr. Leo, whosoever of you who come online and to this other lazy girl in Nigeria who call herself a major personality, who knows nothing but negating herself on social media. I wonder the kind of uh, a major personality who will be going naked on social media every day in the name of entertainment. Listen to me. There are some things, some dirty things that we are gradually making it to become normal living in life. But because you have never been affected, that's why you see it's so normal. Listen, it has to stop. It has to stop. No government on planet Earth, after checking Naramali's profile and the video and the kind of thing he does online, will allow Naramali to come and perform in its country. Naramali, you are a good artist. You play very well. You play very good music. You have a new, unique style and you have fans. But brother, you can still go into your closet and smoke your weed very well. Sm nobody is stopping nobody from smoking whatever they want to smoke. If you care, cut your fingernails and grind it and smoke it. That is your problem. But it becomes my own problem when you come online and start smoking. Making the youth who are following you to believe that it is a good thing. You, Naramali, you have enough money that you will take care of yourself if you are sick after smoking. What about those youths who have not got money to eat even one square meal, but you have made them to be consuming drugs? Eh? It doesn't mean because we are living in sin. Because many of you will say, oh, are you righteous? Yes, we are not the righteous. I myself am not the righteous person. But this is a time of self-consciousness. It doesn't mean because we are living in sin, we will educate our own children to live in the same sin. Or we will try to destroy other people's children because or, or, or to live in the same sin. It is wrong, totally wrong. Cameroon government, I don't know why you are still keeping Naramali here. Naramali needs to go back to Nigeria. Exchange him for another artist and bring. I am not against any Nigerian artist or Nigerian music. That exchange Naramali, if you care, call it any name. Listen, I am talking to you as the CEO of a registered and immatriculated NGO in Cameroon called Prisoner Support. That got to do with crimes that send youth to prisons. I wish you what you I wish you had taken your time, your gentle time to spend just 10 minutes in any of the prisons in Cameroon and see the amount of youth as young as they are. Who are in prison. And if you ask their crime. You will be so shocked. And what pushed them to commit that crime. Is drug. Indian hems. Tramadol and all the rest. How do we live with this kind of society? Five years behind. Things like this were not happening. Today you have made every youth to believe that. They have to consume enough drug. Before they can have inspiration to play music. That is wrong. That is totally wrong. Every day you are making some parent bleeding inside your heart. Go to my town in Moliko Boya. Some of you evil men, evil youth. You will gather small, small children as young as they are. 10, 11, 12, 15, 14. 
in the name of party celebration. After you have drugged them very well, put drug using it in the name of Shisha. When they have passed out, you destroy, rape them as you want. Take away their womanhood in them. And when they go to their houses, they will never tell their parents because they are afraid. And when their parents discover, they will never come and say that to the public because of shame, disgrace, and taboo. But they are bleeding and dying in silence. You see a small young girl of 14 years is already old. Like this crazy one in Nigeria who call herself a major personality. Me. Don't worry yourself. Except Cameroon government want to tell us that the fight you are fighting against drugs, the youth you are killing every day because of drugs is a right thing. Then you just tell us. Just tell us. You cannot be fighting this particular youth for stopping drugs and you allow a chief. Even Naramali still went again in, Niger uh, uh, in Douala. After he has been banned in Boya, banned in Limbe, he still went to, uh, 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 to Douala smoking the same weed and putting online. Encouraging the youth more and more that the weed smoking is a good thing. Go to Boya. A little boy of mine in the quarter. All of you who are in entertainment, you know him. TZ Unstoppable. An aspiring rapper. This guy was shot and killed with bullets. In Bakweri town. With many others. How many youths do we want them to die before we can stop this thing? You call yourself influencers. You don't know what you can use your influence to do. All you do is to come online, smoke weed. Jovi, I'm talking to you. Uh, Malox, I'm talking to you. All of you, Mr. Leo, all of you who go online and smoking weed, trust me, you have to stop. You must stop. That attitude is becoming a normalcy. It's because it has never touched you. My Me, I'm a victim. My junior cousin, whom I've offered him one room house in my compound, paid him job for three years to learn how to uh, put glass in, in houses. After I go abroad, buy good shoes, belt, dresses for his patron so the patron can teach him how to learn work so well. This guy was a very good guy. His name is Vado. And that those their names. He said his name is uh, uh, Shampi. Go to Bakoritan, ask, they will tell you they know him. Very good child. He can do everything in the house as per um, a house duty. But all of a sudden, this guy just wake up. Malian, Malian, Malian. Oh, daddy, I'll be Malian. I ask him, daddy, uh, uh, what is Malian? Oh, Malian, Malian. Start putting his trousers right down there. The next thing, this guy starts smoking weed. Smoking terrible Indian hems. And he suddenly just disappeared from the house. Till today, as I'm talking to you people, I have not set eyes on him. He abandoned my money that I have paid for him to learn work. And then you are telling me about those who have spent money to organize show. After N Naramali have promised the Cameroonian youth, I'm going to give you what I smoke. How many souls can your money buy? How many souls? I am the same person. Who campaign for fans to come and watch Naramali in Limbe? But I warned that please don't smoke this thing on stage. I have children, two boy child. I will not wait. You don't know. We don't work with these children. We only give birth to them. But we don't be, we don't stay with them 24-7. All of them now are android children. I don't know if it's my own child tomorrow who will be victim of consuming drugs. So me, I fold my hands and stay. Watch you. Use your greedy attitude because of entertainment. You want to make money to destroy my child? No way. Call all of those event organizers that me open to. I'm ready for you people. Let's see if law is not activated anymore in Cameroon. And you, Cameroon government, for still keeping Naramali in this country to be promoting drugs. After he was born in Limbe and Boya, he still went to Douala, like the same drugs and put it online. It means that you, Cameroon government, what you are doing is hypocrisy. To be killing you because of drugs and allowing their masters, all these Jovi, all these malogs, they need to be locked up. We are all sinners. Yes, that's good. But we must not use our sin and pour it to innocent children who are coming after us. This is a time of using our conscience for God's sake. Anyway, let's go.